KDE has just announced their sixth mega release, KDE Plasma 6, and today we're going to review it. Let's go. On first glance, Plasma 6 doesn't really look that different from Plasma 5, but two things you will notice is firstly, the beautiful new wallpaper which I really like, and secondly, the new floating panel, which I think looks great and personally prefer over the regular panel. This new floating panel may seem like it's taking more space than necessary, but when a window touches the panel, it goes back to regular mode, but when you drag the window back up, it goes to floating mode again, which is a pretty cool feature. Speaking of, the panel now has a new customization center. Instead of using a ruler and some other options like in Plasma 5, you get a nice customization center where you can change the panel's position, alignment, width, visibility, opacity, style, and height. If you want more customization options, you can set a custom panel width and use the ruler. You can also add and manage widgets, panels, spacers, and more. Breeze, the default theme ever since the beginning of Plasma 5, also got a new redesign. It looks simpler and removes many unnecessary lines and elements. Everything is also a bit more spaced out and there's more rounded corners, although they aren't very noticeable. In my personal opinion, it doesn't look very different from the Plasma 5 Breeze theme, and while a lot of people like Breeze, I personally find it pretty old and a bit ugly looking, and I think it would have been great to see a new, much nicer and more modern looking theme for KDE's new mega release. KDE redesigned its overview, combined the overview and desktop grid effects, and apparently improved its touchpad gestures, although I can't test gestures in a VM, so can't say for sure. You can tell immediately it's ripped off of GNOME, but it's a pretty nice looking overview. Also regarding the overview, there's a new cube overview effect that you can enable to get a 3D cube overview, which looks similar to Zorn OS's spatial desktop, and both look really cool in my opinion. Plasma Mobile got a major redesign with Plasma 6 and now looks completely different. It looks way more modern compared to Plasma Mobile 5, and fairly modern in general, and comes with a new authentication dialog, the ability to toggle docked mode which adds desktop window controls and doesn't force apps to be full screen, customizable pages to place apps and widgets, folders, a new app drawer which you can swipe up to use, KRunner search which you can swipe down to use, a beautiful new first setup screen, and much, much more. There's also some other changes in Plasma 6. Files and folders are now double-click to open by default instead of single-click. Wayland is now the default session. Tap to click is enabled by default on Wayland. A thumbnail grid is the new task switcher style. Clicking on the scroll bar track now scrolls in the clicked location. The settings app was reorganized. Partial support for HDR was added. You can customize the ordering of search results for KRunner. There's several features and improvements to several KDE apps, and there's a few new apps. And of course, Plasma 6 now comes with QT6 and most of KDE's apps have been upgraded to QT6. After I finish my 30-day challenge of running Alpine Linux on the desktop, which is currently running GNOME, I will use Plasma 6 as my primary desktop environment via KDE Neon for 30 days, so stay tuned for my Plasma 6 long-term review. Subscribe if you like my content, and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.